Nana Arkitva, your first take um, that farmers, uh, the, the direct income or the concept of, of, of a basic minimum income is something which has obviously been talked about a lot and that did come to bear in addition with any other tax ops. Farmers are still, some of the farmers at least still seem to be saying that they would have preferred a loan waiver. What was your overall take on the budget? So, uh, Vikram, you know, we've been talking just before and uh, clearly uh, we were expecting something on the lines of a direct uh, benefit transfer for farmers. I think in the long run that is the better move. Of course, it requires a whole rejigging of the way we uh, uh, finance farmers and ultimately if all the money that goes in some cases down the drain in terms of the subsidies and fertilizer subsidies, etc., actually goes directly to the farmer, that would be the right solution. So it's a step in the right direction, but clearly from some of these reactions which I've just been hearing uh, of on your channel, suggests that farmers had a far greater expectation right now. And in terms of fulfilling some of the vote bank issues that uh, we thought maybe this agricultural farmer income issue would come into this budget, uh, may not be fully met if indeed the expectations were more on the lines as we are hearing. However, I do believe this is a right step in the right direction. And uh, the second uh, interesting one in this budget is, uh, which has gone a little further than we might have thought in an interim budget, was playing to middle class India. And uh, certainly from an industry perspective, sitting as I am at FIKI, uh, the feeling was with both these uh, moves, uh, there is going to be more consumption demand and uh, that it was good for uh, the MSME sectors, good for industries that are in sectors which will benefit from increased consumption. So in that sense, uh, the budget uh, is uh, uh, pro-growth. My worry, Vikram, is on the FISC. 3.3 uh, .3 to 3.4 is what most people are seeing. But actually, I think the commitment next year was more for 3.1. So we have to look at it more as 3.1 to 3.4. And uh, some wriggle room in the FISC is probably uh, uh, required, given that we need growth to return. But uh, in itself, uh, we do need to check the numbers and see that uh, the 3.4 is indeed what uh, is set out given all the expansions, plans, budgets uh, that have been set out uh, in this particular interim budget. And I fear that with all these schemes going ahead, uh, the 3.4 will also be a stretch, which in any case is higher than the 3.1 which was committed to for next year.